Welcome to Ron Will's Money Matters. Set a food budget. And people might think something is basic about that. It's like, set a food budget? What that got to do with money management? Everything. I'm going to tell you something now. I'm going to tell you something now. Your food and what you eat and how you spend money on food is where a lot of extra money will disappear. We won't get into drinking and smoking and all of that, but I'm saying on a basic level. Because it's something basic we like. But then how often do we really think about how much money we spending on food? You know, we, you know, we might be thinking, okay, we can do, we can spend this amount of money every week. We might think that consciously. But how often do we spend something extra? How often do we get that little extra candy bar or that donut just calls to us? Or when you're in a grocery store, you notice they have all the candies and stuff in the checkout line and you might... You might just get it just right then, you know, or are they promoting something? Trust me, I used to work as a merchandiser, so it's all the same. When they're trying to sell something, they'll set it up, put it right in front of you, and your stomach be like, damn, that's good. Your wallet be like, no, no, no. Your stomach's just like, I'll get that food. You know, your wallet like, no, no, it's going to hit you later on. And the stomach is like, well, I need it to hit me now. Yeah, donut. But seriously, seriously, that's where a lot of extra money will go. Because, okay, most people, even if they don't set a formal budget, they know how much they're going to spend on, um, you know, rent, uh, utilities, TV, car, all the stuff they have to. But then they wonder why they don't really have a savings. It's like, where's all this extra money going? It don't take, it don't, it don't take a lot. How often have you been maybe going through the mall or something and you just see you see that good meal? It could be a burger, it could be a hot dog, something, and you just like, I got to get that. I got to get that. Because a lot of the eating we do, let's just be real, unless you like consciously watching what you eat, like consciously, like you, you know, you really into fitness, you're trying to lose weight or something. We don't think about it. Most of us don't. Let's just be real. You know, we see that food, we get hungry, we got to get something to eat. Shoot. Even to this day, as much as I work out, every now and then I get caught up like that. You know, or something smell good or, you know, well, they don't have sam. I haven't seen any uh, people giving samples of what their restaurant sells lately in malls for obvious reasons. But, you know, you can get caught up. But here's the thing. If you can set a food budget and stick to it, you can find you'll save a lot of money. And uh, and in all fairness, uh, budget in like some little snacks and stuff. Budget it in, but then you got to stay disciplined with that. And then you'll find all of a sudden, let's see, wait, I got extra money because that's one of the best places to do it. Other than keeping yourself in a good shape and uh, probably trying to eat better food, you'll find that's the best place because, okay, with your bills, with your rent or mortgage, you can't really change anything there. Car note, can't really change anything there. Utilities, you can try to cut back there, but that's tough. Let's just be real. And plus, with utilities, they usually have so many different programs and stuff. You, you, once you get a good payment going, you could probably stick with that, like budget billing or something. But food, that's where you can make the biggest single difference. You know, you could say to yourself, okay, I'm not going to go out randomly. I'm going to budget in maybe going to a restaurant once a month or even once a week as long as you can afford it in your budget. And you know what? I learned that back my senior year in college. My senior year in college because, um, you know, I had student loans and everything. I had grants and uh, would actually get a a work-study job and stuff like that, but it was tight. So I had to be extremely, extremely disciplined how I spent my money, how I spent that money because I had to have it last. Now, here's an interesting thing. I was able to, I was disciplined with that money to the point, I was actually able to send money home to my grandmother and mother. I was actually able to send money home to them. And that's a powerful thing. That was a powerful feeling to be able to do that. Because, you know, it was just a situation of 
I was like, okay, this is how much I can eat a day. And I, I mean, I had it down to a science because when you know you only have so much money, a set amount of money to spend, because even with the work study, that was a set amount of money. Boom, you got to say, okay, I got to make this last. I couldn't, I, couldn't hit, I couldn't hit up home for money. You know, it was me and me alone, but I learned a viable lesson, especially with food. Learn where to get it, say, okay, I got to stretch, I got to stretch this pack of chicken out for a week or something, you know, but you learn it. And it might seem small, but like I said, you can put the extra money in your savings. Once you, once you build up enough of a savings and then not only you have the savings, but then you can look into investing into other things, you know, whether it's stocks or, you know, um, a real estate uh, investment trust or uh, whatever. Or you might just say, hey, you know what, I'm going to become an owner of this business. And that's one thing I got to look into before I talk to you. Just want to uh, um, tangent. I have to look into it more before I like fully recommend it because I've noticed there's some businesses, they offer like um, – you know, these invest. You can pay a certain amount of money. You get certain. Uh, uh, you get certain uh, benefits and everything. But I have to really look at it first. But that's something you can do. You can do a lot from your savings. It, and shoot, you can use it to be seed capital for your business, but without having to go for a major loan. Which, incidentally, most businesses don't start with bank loans. Just to be clear, some people might say, "I don't know if I can get a bank loan." Well, they ain't going to give you any money unless they think you you shown some way you're going to give it back to them. So you basically have to start yourself. So you set that food budget, you can save that extra money, and then that could build to something else. And you're also being disciplined, keeping yourself in better shape, trust me. So that's something that's seriously, something to think about. It might be small, but here's the thing. A lot of people ain't starting out with a lot of money, so you got to, you know, you got to figure out, okay, what can I do? What can I do? What moves can I make? Where can I save some money? What do I really need? It's, it's little stuff like that that can go a long way. So you always want to, you in general, you always want to think, okay, where can I cut? What am I spending money on I don't need to spend money on? And trust me, all of a sudden you look up and it's like, wow, extra. All right? So I want y'all to really think about that and, like, sit down. Really think about it. Think about all the extra stuff that you get you don't need. Because that's one thing I've been doing, but I've been, like, dropping weight anyway just for workout purposes. And I know, wait a minute, I got a little bit extra money now <laughs> without even trying. And that's that's on top of what I save normally anyway. I save a lot normally, but that little bit adds up. So, anyway, y'all know the deal. Let's go make that money. Oh. 